referee feels both fighters are inactive doing it. One more point kick or knee on ground as well. And if there's no action for more than 60 seconds, the referee will give a yellow card to both fighters. After getting the yellow card, both fighters will be brought back to standing position. Here we go, boss. Yes, so full I, pride I, rules in this boat. I think Hoist is going to box. You watch. Box and kick. Punch and kick. It looks like he's been working on his hands. He's got a good defense. Look, inside pocket. What, double side in the groin? What is going on here? Please are we seeing some are we seeing happen. some histrionics here? Or is this an injury? Hoist Gracie has an incredulous look on his face. Hidohiko Yoshida appears to have been injured. Or are we Boss, this is uh, incredible. I don't know. I want to see the replay because I, I personally don't think it was in the groin. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maybe it was. Ooh, oh, yes, it was. was pretty high. Yes, yep, it was. It was. Yes, it was. Yep, it was in the groin. Okay, no. Wow, wow, wow. That's not the way we wanted to see this bout begin. And see, I was watching the hoist. I thought that perhaps some gamesmanship was being played, but there's no doubt about it. Hoist Gracie with a kick to the groin. Unfortunately, already controversy here in the opening seconds of the second bout between Hoist Gracie and Hidehiko Yoshida. Go! Yep, what Hoist needs to do, uh, he's kicking the low kicks real high. He needs to kick a little lower just to make sure. Uh, we saw his striking ability against Vanderlei Silva in the middleweight tournament. Now he has his arm trapped. He can't go for a guillotine here. But, and the crowd begins chanting Yoshida's name. What can Hoyce do right now? He's got to try to turn and get out, but it's very difficult because Yoshida's wearing a gi and it gives a lot of uh, connection. You can't slip out. It, 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 it is, it's like rubber like sticking on your body. Already memorable, Hoist Gracie for the first time not wearing the gi. We saw that opening groin kick by Gracie to Yoshida, and now Yoshida continues to control Gracie. From now, Gracie going for what appears to be the armbar attempt. You see how Yoshida is so calm. Gracie is holding his sleeve, which is allowed heels to the thigh. Very smart thing to do. It, people can laugh what they want, but I'm telling you, that's going to hurt. Whoa. Of course, boss, much stronger than he was in he the last for a leg lock now. Right, now. Watch, they both can go for a leg lock now. Both. Yeah, I should try to go for a heel hook. I would try. Yoshida is going for a one. Going for He's a heel hook. Hoy's going for a Achilles pull. But that's the thing, it's not going to work from this side. No, he's going to slip out of this one. This is, not a, this is a painful move, but not a move that really can hurt something. Put some damage on. Yoshida maneuvering out of there, boss. He should go for a toehold right here. Yoshida can go for a toehold right there. Instead, he's turning himself back into Gracie. Gracie turning Gracie around, looking for the submission. For a heel hook. He should go for a heel hook. Forget about the other submission. A heel hook is the best option right now. And one of the most lethal submissions and, in and, MMA. And, and the Yoshida can make a heel hook on him right now, too, because Hick, he's Hoist up. has his right foot underneath his left leg. So if Yoshida makes a heel hook right now on, on Hoist's left leg, Hoist can't roll out. He can't defend it. He's, lock, he's locking himself up right now. You bring up a very salient point. Hey, boss. Yoshida can make a heel hook right now, can't finish the move. Watch, if he's gonna go for a heel hook, he can't finish the fight. Hoist cannot get out. He locked himself up right now, if Yoshida goes for it. He, uh, Hoist is going for a heel hook right now. He's going for a heel hook, he needs to bend the leg. He needs to bend Yoshida's leg, because otherwise a heel hook is not effective. Not this one. The other one, the inverted heel hook, is effective. This is pretty much, this is better. Look, Yoshida just has to grab the heel and he can, he, he can finish the move right here. He can, he Why doesn't Yoshida 
Ball back into that position and go for his own he can't solution go for a now there's a He can't go for a hill hook. I thought he was trying to pull out his leg, and I thought he should have done that moments ago. Now enough, a shot there by Gracie. Yoshida content to stay in this position. Very good, very good. Now trying to pull out. Gracie has it sunk in there. Now Gracie striking from the bottom. Trying to keep Yoshida at bay. Nice right straight there. There's See how they one. connect every time. They glare off, but it's going to connect. Now we should go for the heel hook. We should now go for the heel hook. The heel is all the way expand here. You know, look, he can grab it. Now he should do it. <laughs> They're pulling, the, trying to pull out is Yoshida. And now again. Let's go for now, man. It's like, uh, Yoshida. Uh, like triangle choke. Triangle choke by Chris Pratt, but did Yoshida. Yoshida is really good in our submission. Now he's got his back. Trying to, really get, trying to get the hooks in. Uh -oh, Gracie grabs his arm, trying to shoulder roll him, looking for the hooks is Yoshida. There's nothing there, but he can't transition. No, arm bar, arm bar by Yoshida, an arm bar attempt by Yoshida. No, Gracie, masterful, return the situation, reversing it, pushing himself to the center of the ring. He's going to try to escape now the half guard. And boss, when it comes to submissions, really, it's all about controlling the body, is it not? I mean, that's without body control, you're not going to be effective with submissions. No, yeah, it's all about, of course, the body control, but also a, lo a lot of hand control. You see, now it's going to be very difficult to pull out the leg. First of all, Yoshida has Hoyce's foot hooked, but second of all, they're both wearing a gi pants, so they're not sweaty. You can't pull it out. This is what Hoyce should do. Punch to the ribs, punch to the head. He should stop striking now. In the half guard there of Yoshida. Yoshida should try and sweep him to the left. Although that Hoyce can post out with his right arm, he Popping should still try. Out there is Gracie. These are shots, those are better. Go for the body. Showing some strikes there to the body. Those strikes he should continue to do. He should continuously doing this until the referee is going to stand him up again. And Matt Hume is miked, and he's asking both fighters to work to improve, or he's going to bring them to their feet. Improve position. Yeah, look, these shots are going to. These are shots and adding up. Nice shots. He should break the rhythm up. He should give one, two, maybe stop half a second, and then. Look at what this sweep is, Yoshida. And he improved his position. He's almost in a mounted position now. Yoshida still holding on to his leg, to Hoyce's leg, his, his, his left foot. If that's going to slip out, that's going to be trouble for Yoshida. Could, could be trouble for Yoshida. Less than three minutes remain in round number one. Two ten-minute rounds against special rules for this bout. Now, Gracie has his back and he's got the hooks in. Looking for the rear naked choke, perhaps. Yeah, but with the keep and, 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 and with the hands, it's yeah, yeah, virtually impossible. He can try to choke him with the key, but not a rear naked choke, it's not gonna happen. Does he want to flatten him out here, boss? From I don't know, he, he, I, I, would, I would wail my punches all the way from the back, like Fedor does, and, and, and Puff Chanchin. All the way from the back and go full power, full power. Those aren't full power punches, are they? No, but that's what I mean. He can't, he can't pull his arm all the way up. Why won't he do it? <laughs> now Gracie is talking to the referee, which is uh, humorous a bit because I remember in our interview with Hoist, that's one of his uh, points of contention was that uh, God, Yoshida was uh, talking to the referee. He said that's not allowed. Interesting position here. 
Um, he can try to go for a gi choke. Rear naked is going to be very difficult. Yep, gi choke Those is definitely punches a don't do anything. He's okay. A figure a four, a body, four lock. body lock. Yes. So that is very uncomfortable for Yoshida right now. I'm telling you, that body lock. You know, it makes it's very difficult for you to breathe because it's pressing against your belly. I'm sure that Yoshida has been in that situation before, but you know, it's it's pretty tough. Uh, with the gi, it's very difficult for Hoist to pull out his hands. Because, like I said, it's a grip. It's an extra grip. This is what Hoist should do. More. Punch. One minute left. Into the final 60 seconds of the opening round. This long-awaited rematch between Hoist Gracie and Hidehiko Yoshida. Trying to right the wrong, and both fighters wanted this rematch. And we are bringing it to you here at Shockwave 2003. And your thoughts thus far on this very much anticipated belt boss. I don't know. I give the first uh, beginning. I gave it to Yoshida. Now I give everything to Hoist. Hoist is working. He's got the better position. Referee can't stop it, can't do anything. So I mean, I would say the finishing of this round would be in favor of Hoist. Hoist definitely busier with the strikes. You have to give him that. And there yep. is the end of round number one. And uh, like you say, strong start by Yoshida, but Hoist Gracie coming on. And uh, I would have to tilt that first round in favor of the Gracie legend. But as we know, no TKO rules, special rules, including doctor stop and referee stop. And if at the end of both rounds, it goes the distance, boss, it will be declared a draw, which then, putting El Wapo on the spot, Will there be another bout, a rubber match of sorts? Yeah, Even I don't know. I don't know. Will, will Hoist Gracie be content if this ends in a draw? No, I think that Hoist really wants to finish this match. Of course, uh, Yoshida wants to do the same thing, but I mean, there's a lot of pressure on, on, on Hoist, both of them. Of course, look at the transitions they make, how fast everything Very goes, much. how they escape. It's an uh, it's an art what you're seeing going on here. It's it's a beautiful display of what submission fighting is. And on the ground, judo and jiu-jitsu, very similar boss. And I mean, let's face it, it goes back 50 years, as we mentioned, when Helio Gracie fought Masahiko Kimura in a match to prove who had the superior fighting style. And in fact, that, that surname, Kimura, very common now in mixed martial arts because that's where it derived from. The gentleman who invented the move, Masahiko Kimura. Okay, let's see what round number two is going to bring us. I really think that Hoy should try to keep this fight on his feet and don't go to the ground and just outbox him and outkick him, outstrike him. He said he would he have a surprise. Skills. He said he would have a surprise for all the fans. Yeah, he already did. He but he had, of game. course, definitely. Without that, was one surprise, which we had uh, discussed, but uh, he also said when it came to striking, yep. he said he'd have a surprise for the fans. He said, wouldn't that be something yeah. if I would knock him out? <laughs> wouldn't it, though? Although Yoshida definitely impressed MMA fans around the world with his striking ability and his ability to take a punch against Vanderlei Silva at final conflict. Oh, that is not good. He shouldn't go to the ground. Get up. He should get up. He should get up. He should get up. He should get up and, and punch and strike. That, that, that's punch and both fighters still a little cautious in my estimation of course you don't want anger to overtake you by any estimation they're still very focused although Hoist Gracie remains much busier and active than Hidehiko Yoshida hey that's kind of a style that we saw Inoki do, do against Muhammad Ali dropping falling low kick and let's face it Hidehiko Yoshida coming off that grueling battle against Vanderlei Silva has now 
And the catch is for a leg lock. Leg lock here by Gracie. Yeah. Is Yoshida 100% healthy, boss? I don't know. We we asked him and, and he told us he was. So, but, but you I'm never know. To Look, he's got the heel hook, but Yoshida's pulling the arm up. He really should pull all, everything he got now. Uh, Hoy should. And we're back to the same stance that we saw in round number one. Referee Matt Hume right on top of all the action. Again, a neutral referee brought in especially for this bout. Matt Hume of the United States presiding over the rematch between Hoist Gracie and Hidehiko Yoshida. Hoy should try to go for a toe hold right now. He should push him to the side, to the left side, push him on the ground, bend his leg, grab the toes, heel, make, make a toe hold. But then I agree with what you said earlier. Why doesn't Yoshida do, try to do the same thing with the... With no, he can do it now right easy, yeah, real easy heel hook. And there's no defense against him. I just couldn't defend it. Again, if the referee feels that nothing is going on for more than 60 seconds, he will issue a yellow card to both fighters and bring them up to their feet. Get working, and I don't know if that was someone in Yoshida's corner, I doubt it, but uh, I heard in English, someone around the side going for the heel hook. Heel hook again. Someone screamed to Yoshida, now he, And now he can do the reverse heel hook. Oh no. And they're both defending, I would say, the other way. Something wrong with Yoshida's glove. Yeah. Slipping out of the finger holes. That's it. That's the strike. Punch with more power. Very impressed with Matt Hume's officiating thus far. Hoist Gracie doing a good job with the striking as well, boss. Yeah, he's a very good balance right now. Now Yoshida brings Gracie down. And now he has a chance to go for an ankle lock submission here. Alex again, just to stand back up on his feet. Gracie. Seven and a half minutes, Royce. Gracie's going to push him down. That's it. You see, he grabbed, he grabbed the, sh the, the key pads. Gracie overextending himself there momentarily now. He's got the mount position. What can he do now? Does he have enough power to push himself away and then just start wailing? You know, but he almost, he looked like he overextended himself momentarily. If Yoshida would have exploded, he would have swept him, been on top, but you're right. Now Gracie has full mount on Yoshida. But it's very dangerous what uh, Hoist is doing. He puts his right arm underneath Yoshida's uh, neck so that Yoshida can turn Hoist now to the left if Hoist doesn't watch out. And Hoist now going to work again on the body, covered by the key. Not a lot of power to those shots, however. Now, boss, he looks uh, like yeah, Yoshida was trying to do just that. Go to his left. Yep. The reason why it didn't work now is because uh, Hoist is stretching his legs out, and then it doesn't work. Well, this is it. He should keep going. <laughs> and Gracie again talking to the referee. He should cross-face him right now. Cross-face him. Cross-face him. He should cross face him, create distance, and go for full shots, full power shots. And That's what he's doing right now. Should have brought his arms down lower to a waist lock and, and explode his hips, boss. He should start hitting, pushing this. Boys, is very good in control right here. There's the cross face. Hit the body now. See, beautiful. Very nice. That's the liver shot there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're definitely seeing a great performance, a great fight on the part of Hoist Gracie. We're definitely not seeing the same Hidehiko Yoshida that we saw in the middleweight tournament boss. No, that's one thing for sure, but he fights a complete different opponent. We have that's to true. And but saying that, I don't see the same intensity or energy level 
that we're seeing from Hoist Gracie. I, I, I think Hoist does everything now to, to win the fight. I think in my eyes, if this would have gone to a decision, Hoist would have won a decision. Look at this. Gracie is now grounding and pounding in a Hiko Yoshida box. He's doing now he's a on his back. phenomenal job. He should just keep doing it now. But again, if it goes the full 10 minutes, nothing is decided. It will be a draw. And where do we go from here, El Wapo? Straight to the bar. That's where I'm going to go after this. I'm talking about Hoist Gracie and oh. Hidehiko Yoshida, Mr. Rubin. Sorry. Now we go. Gicho, Gicho. Great job of Tracy striking from underneath Yoshida now. Last three minutes. Yoshida. It almost appears to me that Yoshida would watch the draw box. Yeah, Yoshida's not fighting anymore. He's got a buddy lock again now. The horse, oh no, he, he, he lost it. But I mean, hey, listen, if this would have been gone to a decision, the horse would have won the fight. Look at this. A lot of striking on the part of Hoist Gracie. But again, Hoist needs to do enough. Now the heel into the stomach area of Yoshida, but how much time remains? Now Yoshida perhaps get the arm of Gracie, but Gracie's got the hooks in there, the underhook. I hear less than two minutes remaining, boss. Yeah, I, listen, the horse is doing a great job here. He's got to pull, try to pull out his left hand also, and then just start pounding away. This is it, mount again. There we go, come on. Mount again by and the strikes continue. The right raining down. Yeah, Yoshida's definitely in the surviving I, mode right here. And, and, I, and now the corner in a turtle position. Gracie's corner is disgusted with what they are seeing, and I, I really wonder what is going on with Yoshida right now. Is he healthy, or is this just a strategy? Does he just want him to go to a draw and be done with it? This is this is unbelievable, boss. Yoshida yeah. in a turtle position right now. Gracie has his back. Hoist Gracie with the hooks in. Hidehiko Yoshida appears to not want any part of Hoist Gracie right now, boss. No, Hoist is in total control. Look at this. No, this is not going to do any good for Yoshida's name here in Japan. That's one thing I'm telling you. And this is going to do a lot of good for Hoist's name. Hoist Gracie wanting to reestablish honor, wanting to bring back honor to his family, to his legendary father, Helio. And even if they go to a draw here tonight, boss, I do believe he has done enough to do that. Hoist Gracie, a Hall of Famer. Hoist Gracie, a pioneer. Look at what's happening right now, boss. Hoist Gracie, even though this fight will go down in the books as a draw, Hoist Gracie has definitely brought back honor to the Gracie family. And again, I do not want to discount the talents of this man right here, but I really wonder if Hidehiko Yoshida was 100% healthy here tonight. Look, look at Hidehiko Yoshida. I think Hoist. There's more to this story. Without the key. It will be a draw, fight fans. But I really wonder what is the. There it is. This is what I we all want to see, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans around the world. Hoist Gracie. And Ahiko Yoshida. Yeah, Hoist won this fight. It will be a draw officially. Officially. But the question that I would like answered is 
the health of Hideiko Yoshida. We saw what happened with Benrele so Let's go back to some of this action now, boss. Look at this. He's in the mounted position. He's wailing away. Yeah, he's pounding away, total control. Boss, you've been around you've been up. around the sport your entire life. Can you shed any light, really, on what do you think is going on with Hideo you're sitting here tonight? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think he got overwhelmed. I think Hoist just pulled out of the ski and and, oh, really? and, and, and then he thought, what the hell is going on? And Hoist did a better so you job. Think that was a psychological factor right from the outset. When he took off the gi, that played some mind games with your two I mean, I mean yeah, I think it had to. I, um, yeah, he did, for me, he did everything. So. It'll be interesting to see what the fallout of this will be for this man who had so much coming in. His, his performances during the middleweight tournament. Again, let's cut him some slack in that. He has only been involved in MMA for just over a year. Already a national hero, beloved by the fans here in Japan. But one has to wonder now, what is in store in the immediate future for Hidehiko Yoshida? Even though this belt will be uh, officially called a draw in the minds and hearts of everyone who saw it, Royce Gracie is the winner, boss. Yeah, for sure. For sure he is. Gary Goodrich, his retiring match, what are you going to do?